We get asked if it is better to buy a one-story or two-story home. I'm Lauren, this is Raul, we are with the Schrader Group, and today we are going to compare major differences between buying a one-story and two-story home and from provide some local stats on which is a better investment for you, especially if you are only going to be owning the home for two to three years. Yep. All right, so what would you say some of the pros are for owning a one story? Yeah, so I think the one story is going to be that house that you walk into with the fact that you don't want to deal with stairs, mm -hmm. uh, your interior exterior maintenance is a little bit lighter because you don't have to worry about a two story. With a two story, you got to deal with the trees rubbing up on the on the roof line. So that's another thing you don't really have to worry about too, too much. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the case of a you know situation, it's easier to get out of the house in case of emergency. Okay, so then going into the cons mm -hmm. would be, what would be some of the cons? Well, I mean, the cons of a, of a one story is you're going to have a bigger footprint on your lot. So essentially, if you have a tenth of an acre, that one story is going to be a little longer. So you're going to have a, probably a little smaller of a backyard. Uh, some of the other ones is, you know, you get less privacy sometimes because your two story house on the side can look into your, your backyard. And so what would be some of the pros for a two-story? Well, we just got off the privacy part, so that'll be a plus. Uh, what I like about two stories, it gives you a little bit more of a, a bigger wow factor when you walk into the home. So if you have vaulted ceilings, sometimes you walk into the great room and, and you have ceilings go all the way up to the second floor and then you have like a little balcony or a loft area that looks on over. You get a little bit more space for your for your family. So you might have a living room downstairs and you might have a loft upstairs. Send the kids game upstairs. Room. <laughs> well, sometimes that happens. Uh, but you know you could get more space um, it's really hard to get a media room or any kind of additional flex room on a one story because then you have to get it really really big right. and that's when the cost starts to uh, add up on you but uh, you know two stories by by nature are a little bit cheaper per square footage any cons with the two stories there's a lot of different factors number one sometimes you get heat pockets in a two-story depending on when the house was built uh, so that could be something that you know if you don't have a damper system which means you have an AC that transitions off for the upstairs and downstairs the stairs. Have you ever tried to take a couch up the stairs without dinging a oh, wall? I mean, yeah. that's one of the hardest things about a, a, a second one. Uh, and it seems to be a little bit noisier. So you got to be able to put some acoustics into it, whether it's, you know, uh, rugs, whether it's, you know, artwork on the walls, things like that. So how fast would you say a one-story sells versus a two-story sells in the San Antonio market? Sure. So if we're looking at our metro in this past year, one story sold on average at 77 days, where a two story is ticking in at right around nine, uh, 93. So about okay. 16 days different. Uh, but that also depends on location and amenities and things right. like that. Uh, but on average, when we list a house, one story is typically sell faster, uh, mainly because you have a bigger buy pool that can you know use that product for their family. Very true. Mm -hmm. Let's break down some of the stats by square footage sure. and number of bedrooms. Okay, so when we look at the market in our metro, one stories are about 1,000 to 1,500 square feet. Three bedrooms are on the market 65 days versus our four bedroom at another 10 days at 75. So our 1,500 to 2,000, three bedrooms are 78 days on market and four bedroom 65. So we're seeing that the four bedroom 65 days is a little bit better. Uh, 2,000 to 2,500 square feet, three bedrooms is gonna be 89 and four bedrooms 91. So it starts to tear up. So now when we look at two stories, 1,000 to 1,500 square foot, three bedroom homes are 80 days on market versus our four bedroom at 69. When we jump into the 1,500 to 2,000 square feet, we're looking at three bedrooms at 85 days versus our four bedrooms at 61. Uh, 2,000 to 2,500 square feet, three bedrooms are 88 days on market versus our four bedrooms at 100 days on market. Now when we get a little bit bigger, we're looking at 2,500 square foot plus, three bedrooms are 101 days on market versus our four bedroom at 105. When I look at that, there's a honey hole that I'm I'm seeing anywhere between 1,500 to 2,000 square feet on a one and two stories still yielding between 61 and 65 days. Mm. So when we have a four bedroom house within that price point, that's probably your biggest bang for your buck. So if you're relocating to San Antonio, you're trying to decide whether you should buy a one or two story home, you're leaving in two or three years, I would take that advice and try to narrow it down. I think there's a great mm. amount of options out here in our market that maximizes all those items. Yes, thank y'all so much for listening. Subscribe to our channel or reach out if y'all want to learn more. Thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed day and we'll talk to you soon.